you have no idea how long it took me to actually freaking find out how to do that because because every single tab I you know, looked up on, on the internet for Brass Bonanza just kept coming up as 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 tabs for the um, for the TV show Bonanza, uh, and that is not what I was uh, was looking at. But anyway, welcome back to Into the Den and the. Uh, the Bruins in uh, post game analysis uh, in the series is I am your host Jay Freeman and, and Leafs lose two no- three nothing to the Carolina Hurt and Canes their first their first shutout of the uh, of the season and honestly I can't even really be I can't even really be mad at, at this Carolina's Carolina's fan base is one of the uh, strongest in the league, uh, and I mean honestly, uh, honestly, if I'm to choose any team to root for, not the not named um, the Boston Bruins, it's probably the Carolina Hurricanes. But uh, not only did they have to uh, the uh, uh, the disadvantage of playing, not only did the Bruins have the disadvantage of playing on the road, but it also. It's just that the that the Hurricanes are a fantastic team this year. I mean, they had Freddie Anderson in that, who who usually the Bruins laugh at, but I guess they really only do that in the playoffs you know, because because the Bruins got like thirty three shots on him, and he and the dude was a freaking brick wall in net. It, it Swayman tried his Swayman tried his hardest, but. Uh, but he just couldn't, uh, and I mean, he was making, he was making some pretty good uh, saves entirely in the game. Like the dude, the dude looked like he was, uh, was trying to imitate a freaking Dane Cook uh, comedy sketch. He was just uh, flailing around uh, and, and it was working. The dude was, uh, Swayman um, was working his ass off every, uh, all game. Um, and they just couldn't, they just couldn't, uh, it felt like, it felt like the entire game, the Bruins, the Bruins couldn't get much going, but it wasn't for lack of trying that, um, like, like, I know we usually, we usually laugh at the Hurricanes for being um, like a, uh, uh, a team that, um, that gets their, their asses kicking like the, I think the second round or some show like that, it, but like I genuinely believe that the Hurricanes have the uh, have the strength to uh, make it to the Cup Finals this year. Uh, uh, but uh, uh, especially because they still have Rod Rod Brindamore, who's uh, who got it, uh, who got the Jack Adams Award last year, and he's he's still like one of the best coaches in the entire. League, and we will get to co- and we will get to uh, something uh, great about coaching uh, uh, later on in this uh, this game. But of uh, uh, but the Bruins, I get uh, the Bruins had a few little opportunities in front of the net uh, early on, and that again, the Bruins just cannot win havocs. They like they will have. Uh, they will have like a. They'll put the puck in, like, in front of that, and and it'll be just bouncing around there, uh, uh, for like a uh, for like a good five ten seconds, and uh, and the defense always is able to clear it. But uh, and keep in mind, this is a this is a Carolina team that is that just uh, that just let let Dougie Hamilton walk in free agency, and yeah, Dougie. Dougie is Dougie. He's gonna come in and top dollar for, uh, for honestly okay playing ability, but not, uh, but not like, uh, like the dude's gonna, the dude's gonna get, the dude is a good defenseman and, uh, and like he deserves Norris votes uh, sometimes, but, uh, but other times it's like uh, the dude. Uh, I remember. In the same game earlier in this year, I think it was, it was against Montreal, where or, or someone like that, where he just 
uh, where he just lets it uh, where he just lets the puck uh, ricochet off the board where it's past him and, and he gives up a uh, a really easy goal but but I mean I mean Jesper Fost uh, also was the victim of uh, not being able to finish on a havoc uh, Swayman making it uh, Swayman is still Swayman's still making really uh, nice uh, saves uh Tony D'Angelo uh, uh, was also sort of a uh, uh sort of a let's get Let's get you out of the Tony D'Angelo. Uh, definitely uh, uh, also helped to uh, to break up a breakaway uh, on the brusque uh, uh, as he made him take an think like an inopportune shot when uh, uh, on Freddie. But uh, uh, but later on, and uh, he snipes a uh, he snipes a deflection from the uh, blue line and. And and honestly, looking at it and again, I I still cannot tell who it deflected off of, uh, if it was is Brandon Carlo, Curtis Lazar, or Jesper Kakaniemi. Uh, but it ends up uh, putting Carolina up one nothing, and it's the end of the first. But uh, and I mean the Bruins, the Bruins definitely had offense going. They were they outshot the. Uh, I can't even think of a time where. Er, the Bruins had less uh, shots on the board er, than in Carolina, but we get to the start of period two, and and after a uh, uh, after Riley after Mike Riley checks Nino Niederreiter, er, a small a small a small scrum uh, breaks loose, and uh and and the two of them get. And both of them get two in the box for uh, for uh, roughing, and neither team can really capitalize on the four v four, or until. Oh wait, this uh, this is a. Uh, uh, oh wait, that happens later. Sorry, of uh, uh, the game really keeps um, turning into a. Uh, a defensive stalemate. Uh, Riley gets into the uh, box for roughing on Niederreiter again, and and Bruins have a decent power play, go, uh, a decent penalty kill going in into this game. Um, but and that continues uh, into into this. And honestly, I gotta say, it was uh, it was still it's still hilarious to. Is to hear Jack Adams, not Jack Adams, Jack Edwards. It's complaining about, uh, complaining about the, uh, uh, complaining about the rules of, uh, of hockey, uh, such as like, uh, he was complaining how Tampa uh, kept, uh, was able to, uh, to do everything with that eighteen million dollars over the uh, cap thing and the, uh, uh, and. And he was talking about, eh, but also he just kept, eh, he kept eh, mis, eh, mispronouncing Nino Niederreiter's last name as Niedermeyer, and eh, and he kept having to correct him himself. Almost like not the not the Hall of Fame um, player for uh, from the Devils and uh, and the Ducks. Thanks, but uh, but speaking of Nino Niederreiter, he ends up putting up the. Uh, putting up the Canes 2-0 on uh, on one of the funniest uh, on one of the funniest and uh, and just unfortunate events in, in I've seen and so Sebastian Ajo goes down and Tomas Nosek uh, has to go to the box for uh, tripping and, but like less than 15 seconds into the uh, power play uh, Nita Ryder is taking the Taking the puck off the uh, off the side, and he's trying to uh, pass it across the uh, uh, across the width, uh, and and it bounces. Uh, the puck bounces off of Derek Forbert's uh, skate and right into the uh, net. And this isn't this isn't like a uh, 
uh, like a net front, uh, like a net front thing. Like this isn't, uh, uh, this isn't like uh, you're six inches away from the crease. This is like you're a good. This is this is like you're a good ten feet away from the uh, crease, and this is happening. And like I hate it, but oh my god, it's freaking hilarious. But oh my god, that was freaking hilarious. But but yeah, both teams start to play a little bit. Uh, both teams start to play a little bit sloppy uh, and getting a lot of penalties. Jordan Stahl going to the box. Uh, and uh, uh, of Jordan Martin uh, for interference, and then and Mar- and then Jordan Martin, uh, uh, the uh, the pride and joy of uh, of the Leafs' uh, social media uh, presence. And uh, he also goes to the box for uh, fi- uh, for like a uh, a cross check on on Charlie Coyle. Bruins get a 30 second in five on three and do absolutely nothing with it. And uh, it was at uh, this moment that I was thinking, is the Canes defense really just this good? Or are the Bruins mm, or are the Bruins or is the Bruins offense just this bad? It, it sweat, uh, especially because uh because Bergeron had uh, ends up tripping Sebastian Ajo and uh, and the Bruins then have to uh, take like a one minute four v four, and then uh, and then immediately go on power uh, penalty kill. Well, but really, that ends up bringing us to the end of the second period, and I'm um, just sitting there shooting bricks. Thanks. Thanks. But I mean, I mean, Bruins start out in period three by uh, with Chucky needing to go to the box. Thanks uh, for tripping uh, Nechas uh, and Canes end up uh, not really doing much off of it, uh, which, uh, which that sort of made me think that uh, like maybe, uh, uh, maybe we're, I don't know, but, uh, but like uh, Canes, the Canes after, afterward end up, uh, racking up two more penalty is one round after another. Uh, the Bruins get a five on three for 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 just over a minute, and they can't do anything off of it. Like, come on, there. You cannot have a line of uh, David Pasternak, uh, Brad Marchand, and Patrice Bergeron, and get absolutely nothing on two five on threes in this. In this one game, like, holy cow! Oh, but uh, but Jordan Stahl goes to the box again for for boarding Charlie McAvoy, and and the Bruins respond by getting a two man man on the ice penalty, courtesy of of Mr. Taylor Hall. Well. Well, a little bit. Uh, there's like two minutes left. Bruins pull, oh, slam in, and Andrei Svechnikov uh, puts uh, puts it in the empty net uh, with 25 seconds left. Uh, that ices the game. Canes win three nothing. But but I didn't I didn't exactly come out of this uh, feeling feeling unsatisfied, and I didn't come out of this feeling unsatisfied. For something that had nothing to do with this, this game, and that is because is to go off of last uh, of yesterday's episode, uh, the Florida Panthers have officially fired their uh, uh, their head coach Joel Quenville. Well, well, it is uh who is it? Andrew Bur- uh, Andrew Burnett is serving as his uh, interim head coach and. Uh, and and they are reportedly on the search for a new head coach, uh, with the uh, with the name they're really looking at being John uh, being John Tortorella. Uh, uh, but in terms of this game, I wasn't. Uh, it was it was frustrating, no doubt. But uh, but holy cow! Oh, uh, and I, but part of me is sort of like. 
Okay, but Svechnikov and eh, and Freddie are both on my fantasy team, so that's uh that's pretty that's pretty damn good. But uh, eh, but yeah, it felt like it felt like the the better team absolutely won on eh, in this game, and it was eh, it was frustrating that we were not the better team. Eh, but oh my, eh, but like it felt like the Bruins could not get any sort of odd man rushes because. Yes, again, this team is slow. This team is this team is a freaking lumbering freaking zombie. And it's close to the freaking Halloween. And one when, when is this when is this zombie finally gonna finally gonna freaking turn on the wheels and turn back time before it fucking died? But that is it for this for tonight's episode of uh, into the den thank you all so much for uh, so much for uh, watching and quick like if you like click subscribe if you really uh, liked and jake tebow's gofundme is is still down in the description and and uh, and let's hope uh, and and tell your fr- just tell your friends that if they want to play Brass Bonanza on guitar, they're not going to find it on uh, on the internet. I'm sorry.